passed from generation to generation. But what happened in Nigeria is that when Nigeria was about to start growing, uh, there was a hiccup. And instead of us to pass the lessons of that hiccup, we told a lie. We told a lie when it was convenient for us. We told that lie. We didn't realize that that, post, that, that place of development and that place of building a culture and building a people with the right values, we were eliminating it. And of course, the, the system was still moving, but the lie we told, the void started becoming bigger, 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 bigger. The void has become so big now that the purpose for which we told the lie is not even defeated. <laughs> that is the reality. First of all, you don't even have, a, in Nigeria, you don't even have a, pop, a educated population. You don't even have, so you want to go back to Nigeria, it's like you have to go back analog. Because already we're in the jet age. We want to fly the jets, but we don't even have the basic skills. We don't have the basic skills to even manufacture the smallest item that will fix the jet if the jet breaks down. We don't have it. And unfortunately also, we are in a generation whereby people don't want to go back and say, ah, we've made a mistake. Oh, we did this thing. It was wrong. And we need to build properly. We don't want to go back. We are saying, let's just move forward. Let's, well, we are going nowhere. And it has shown that we are going, we go nowhere. Even among some of us here, we think, oh, it will, some of us travel outside and see how things are. And say, oh, let's go and do what we're doing. It doesn't work. Your foundation has to be, it's like Nigeria, we have the belief that Nigeria can be like the Eiffel Tower. We can build the Eiffel Tower, build some of the biggest structures in the world. But the foundation that has been set cannot even take a three story building. But we come back and we start thinking, oh, let's build, let's build. It will keep collapsing. It will keep collapsing because, first of all, the value system has been eroded. The moment you, the moment you tell a lie, it's like you tell a lie to your child. You tell a lie to your child when the child is growing up. As the child starts growing up, if the child continues in that lie, it will expand and that child will be aloof, completely aloof. You know, and that is what is happening in Nigeria. That even today, even among some of us that are here, that slide that has been told about Nigeria is still that is it's already it's like coded, hard coded into our DNA. That Nigeria cannot even move out. Nigeria needs a complete re-education. Truth about it that people among many of us here cannot even. That's it's like what happened in the children of Israel in the. If when you look at Nigeria, you can understand why. When the children of Israel were in the in the in the wilderness, God said, "Look, there's a generation that will not see everybody be everybody above twenty. You people cannot see the promised land. Why? Why? Because their mentality. Those were people that saw the works of God, saw what God did. The next thing, they still turned away and said that no, we saw giant giants are over there. Ha -ha. People that they parted the red sea in your front. They parted the red sea in your front. You saw it. Then are you a pastor? Went, they are not a pastor, you know. And then, if you want me to, <laughs> you want me to use Quran to give you example. So they parted the red sea. The next thing they went and saw, oh, they said, "We are, we are like grasshoppers." God said, "There is no problem. You people's mentality, eh, is so that there's no need. Let me bring a new set." And unfortunately, the truth about it, that what's happening in Nigeria is that we are, we are creeping to that position because there are many of us that. If we can't even tell, like, because of how history has not been told in Nigeria, there's something about the West. There's something very good about the West. Eh? For all the bad things we say about them, there's something. They don't, they try to tell the history of themselves truthfully, even if it is bad. That is why you can go and read their books. You will see some of the atrocities. Some of us today talk about the atrocities of Lord Lugard. Do you know that it is in his own writing? It is his... We use Lord Lugard's diary to judge him. He wrote it down. He was writing it down. That is the truth. In the West, they document this thing. Something bad happened, they, they will write it. They won't distort it. But Nigeria today, we cannot even tell the truth about our history. We can't. The people that are even that even committed the atrocities are still alive. Oh. They cannot even come and say, please, oh, we made a mistake. This is the truth. Of... And as long as we continue in that lie, we go nowhere.